Make them more, uh, tactical. Make them look, uh, let's go with black. Today we're going to be talking about The Bandai, Limited Movie Monster Series, Godzilla Store Exclusive, Height 3, Machine Dragon, Revised, Heavily Armed Type, Black Version Figure. Or, uh, Kiryu Robocop 2014 Remake Paint Version thing. Right out of the shipping box, Kiryu is going to stand at just under 9 inches tall. Here is a closer look at that measurement for good measure. Bad joke, I know. And now let's take a... Look at this. Oh my god. I love having tags on my figures. I really do. It's an aesthetic choice, not a resellability choice. I just love how these figures look with tags on them and all the card protectors and top loaders and everything. But 8 inch Kiryu figures with tags. So annoying. We've got a lovely image of SOS Kiryu on the front with a long as hell name on the front. I guess that says multi-purpose fighting system Kiryu in some variation, I guess. Really like the new image. Got the Godzilla 2023 logo in the corner there. <sighs> Literally holding it like this in front of my camera. Bandai Namco, Godzilla Mothra and Mechagodzilla Tokyo SOS, Godzilla Store, Movie Monster Series, Bandai again. Side of the tag cut out to one of Kiryu's mounted shoulder cannon thingies. Oh uh, yeah, this is gonna be a real friggin' joy. <sighs> Here is what the inside of the tag is going to look like, and that'll be the first and last time I see the inside of this tag, because never again. Now since Tin Can of Bones is a Godzilla Store exclusive, we have to do the double sleeving method. Got it. Keep those bones nice and fresh, just like that. And there he is, 8 inch, almost 9 inch theater recreation colorway version Kiryu. Not his official name, just what I call him and it's a mouthful. And yeah, believe it or not, this is not a reissue. This is actually somewhat of a new mold. I feel like there are things that are reused from the older Kiryu figures, but his entire lower half is new. Don't worry, I'll show my work, but first, paint and detail. I'm gonna do my best not to keep you all here for 20 plus minutes, but I really dig the gold metallic eyes for Kiryu this go around. We've got some glossy red for the scars and a nice metallic silver for the little triangle over here. And I'm sure as you can see, there is just wild amounts of detail on this figure. Thankfully, that is something that has not changed from the original eight inch mold. And wow, look at that, a Kiryu with an open mouth with visible teeth, no less. And just look at those shiny eyes. Mm. Moving down from the head to the neck, a lot of wiring detail going on in here, beautifully represented with some nice metallic silver paint. We'll get a little bit of that right below Kiryu's jaw over here. Fan, fantastic details on the thrusters up here, rocket launchers, whatever. Just so beautifully tiny and minute, even up here too. God damn. The side of the cannons are nice and detailed as well. I just now noticed that this little fin over here is actually going to be black and not silver. Cool, cool, cool. And yes, it's like that on both sides. Epic. Moving a bit further down, we're going to have these thrusters thingies over here painted in silver. I was actually surprised to see that painted at all. But the detail back here is just beautiful. And yes, of course, those paint applications are going to be present on both sides and ugh, what in the God's name is that? Ugh. Upon further inspection, it's actually just peeling paint. At least that's what it looks like. I'm not going to be messing with this. I don't want a random splotch of blank vinyl over here. It's a little upsetting there, Bandai. Something I'm really happy to see come back from the original releases of these 8-inch Kiryu figures is just Kiryu's armpits over here being fully painted. Yeah, surprisingly, fully painted. Both sides. Oh, and they're both two different types of wire detail. This is going uh, horizontal and this is going vertical. Cool. More surprising paint applications are going to be the little silver bits on Kiryu's drill hand over here. Yes, on both sides of the hand. You really can't see it from an up view over here, so I have to kind of turn the figure around and, oh yeah, more fantastic details. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to think that the upper body might be a remold too, because this lifts off the side of the arm just like the original version did. And yeah, it doesn't look as good as the original, but I thought thought it was just one solid globbed on piece, but no, it actually fits in over here. Absolutely fantastic detailing going on here with the mounted lasers and with Kiryu's fingers. I like that the hands are actually different from one another, both on the outside and on the inside. As you can see, ooh, wow. 
beautiful details everywhere. This is why I hate talking about vinyl robots. They're just stacked on the detail department, fam. Kiryu's under titty grill over here is going to be painted in a metallic silver, just metallic silver, no black. And that silver is going to continue down right above his crotchal area. And yes, this is probably the most noticeable area where, yeah, Bandai probably did some retooling. Because as you can see, Kiryu's got a very slimmed down waist, and in comparison to one of the original figures, Dog lost his birthing hips, bro. Jesus. But again, we'll get to that after paint and detail. Not too much has changed in terms of details. It's just a bit thinner over here. Love the wires, love all the little intricacies going on. And from a side view, the wiring over here is actually fully painted, unlike the movie monster series Kiryu's. But uh, yeah, this back here won't be painted unlike the other Kiryu's. Bandai. Speaking of which, nothing on the the back of the legs will be painted like the older Kiryu figures. Not the wiring, not nothing. But we will get some fantastic silver paint on the front of the shins over here with some lovely looking tin can feet. Kiryu will have the slanted high heels on the bottom of his feet just like the original, and he will have details on the bottom of his feet just like the originals as well. Honestly, I was gonna say the new bottom half looks a little awkward, but I mean, just looking at the bottom half, I think it looks pretty good. Does he look a little disproportionate? I'm not going to officially speak on it and take points off for that because when looking at the suit, I really can't tell. And I've been looking at this figure for two straight days now, and it really doesn't look as bad as I originally thought it did when I first got this thing out the box. That's why I'm asking you lot. Does he look proportionate to you? Disproportionate? Does his head look too big for the rest of his body? You let me know. At the back of the figure, we are going to be absolutely spoiled with details and dorsal fins, yes, yes, yes. We've got mechanical line work, we've got rivets all over the dorsal fins and such. It's a good look back here. And this is actually my first eight inch SOS Kiryu figure with the backpack, as I just have the one without it and the drill hand. So this was a must from the get-go. Plus, it's a recreation of the theater-exclusive SOS Kiryu and against Mechagodzilla Kiryu. And now, finally, we're making our way to the tail where really nothing has changed at all. Like, nothing at <laughs> Of all the things you did, you couldn't paint all the way to the tip of the tail, could you? I really shouldn't be all that mad though. Even the heavy paint applications Kiryu movie monster series figure didn't have paint all the way to the tip of its tail. And actually, the original 8 inch Kiryu figures didn't have paint all the way to the tip of the tail either. Don't get me wrong, new 8 inch Kiryu definitely stops a bit earlier than the older ones, but I should really just show this on camera, shouldn't I? So with one of the original SOS Kiryus, the paint stops like a about there, whereas new movie monster series 8 inch Kiryu stops a bit uh, shorter than the original. The original is like around here, this one's like around there, so. I'm not actually upset about it, that's more so just a meme because I haven't bitched about the tip of a tail in a long time, but it do be kinda on the fucky side when you make uh, a somewhat wholly new 8 inch Kiryu figure, deck him out in theater edition colors, and you can't just tip a little bit more paint, just a little bit. All that aside, paint and detail, two solid stars. Kiryu was always just like a poster child for detail, especially in vinyl format. So to see that properly brought back with a somewhat holy-ish new Kiryu figure is quite nice. There's stuff on here I really, really wasn't expecting to see a return, both in terms of detail and paint. But from his titty tattoo over here and the ridges around, them, this guy is outfitted like one of the originals. And now, we can get into articulation. Like the original 8-inch Kiryu, we will be able to swivel all the way around at the head. Lovely. We will be able to swivel all the way around at the arms over here. Lovely. We will not, however, be able to swivel at the waist as it is glue sealed and the vinyl is much thinner than the originals. Yes, that means no articulation in the legs, nothing at the knees, but Kiryu does retain a fully rotatable tail both at the base and at the mid portion as well. Just look at all that detail. Oh, why wouldn't you want to swivel this tail all the way around? 
Out of all the things that this guy could have omitted, like a mid-portion swivel at the tail, and even the head, I'm glad that it didn't. So we're missing just waist swiveling, and that's, that's okay, really. It doesn't bother me. So articulation's gonna get a solid star. I'm perfectly fine with the double swivel at the tail, the arms, and the head. Although, looking at the promo shot, I did think maybe there would have been a swivel at the knees, but now looking at that, I think Jordan was right. That just looks like bad Photoshop. <laughs> so now let's take a look at size comparisons and then we can do the Great Kiryu comparison. Movie Monster Series 8 inch 2002 Kiryu, Movie Monster Series 2003 Kiryu, Crawling Hedora, Roast Beef Alante, Bacon, Movie Monster Series 2002 Kiryu Goji, Movie Monster Series 2003 Kiryu Goji, Movie Monster Series Kiryu, Movie Monster Series Kiryu. With the added height that this 8 inch Kiryu received, I feel it actually scales quite better with the 03 Kiryu Goji figure. Granted, it's not by much, but it looks right. Oh, the shelf hoggish nature of those friggin' tails. And since my Kiryu Goji is all packed away in his box, here's GMK Goji with Kiryu, and wow, GMK's a shorty. <laughs> In place of a Kiryu Goji sham figure that I do not have, we have Mire Goji over here, and yeah, the same. <laughs> kind of short in comparison. Memorial Box 74 Mecha Godzilla, though, he's a bit closer than the others. I like that. I like it a lot, actually. The look on his face is just surprised, like, damn, this is what I get to grow up into? Sick. You know what we need, Bandai? We need a proper return to form for the Master Detail series. And while I'm sure a Master Detail Kiryu wouldn't be much different from what we've already had, I just want vinyl figures in cool boxes. And maybe a Movie Monster series anime Mechagodzilla figure. Anyway, as I'm sure you all know, between Against Mechagodzilla and Tokyo SOS, Kiryu actually had two separate suits. Or two separate designs, to be proper. With SOS Kiryu, they have kind of slimmed him up, shortened his neck, resized his head, made his eyes further apart, and they were a bit bigger. And with what we're getting here... I feel like it's just Bandai finally giving an 8-inch Kiryu its own respective mold. And honestly, the more that I look at it, I really do feel like this lower half for SOS Kiryu might have been a bit too bulky. Here, yeah, like when you're first looking at it, it does look rather disproportionate and he does look a little noodly. I'm not saying this one's better by any stretch of the imagination because I will say I do prefer the original. 8 inch Kiryu figures, both for the material vinyl that they used and just how the paint came off. I dig the matte black look of the newer one, but this, this just clears. Absolutely. If you had to ask me my favorite SOS Kiryu, it's this one. As for what this guy is officially, the lower half of the newer figure is definitely new. The waist is thinner, the thighs are thinner. This area might be mostly-ish the same, if a bit thinner. The head might have been molded in a different, more upright position as compared to this one. As to why this version is taller, it's probably because of the legs. The neck looks a bit longer. The heads detail-wise feel mostly the same. I do feel this Kiryu is more so angling his head downward while this one's a little bit more neutral eye level. I guess there is one comparison I can do with the 2002 Kiryu, and that's with the mounted uh, wrist uh, gauntlet gun laser things. It's not the most obvious thing in the world, but I do feel that uh, the wire from the mounted wrist cannon to the bottom of the forearm is definitely more defined on this version. Whereas here, it feels a little bit underdeveloped and yogurty, which also kind of makes me think this is probably a remolded upper half, maybe. I'm not gonna pretend I know how vinyl figure production works, but all you need to know, there are differences between this figure, the 2002 and the 2003, backpackless or not. It's mostly in the lower half. Upper half could be an entire remolding with a retooling of the neck. That's just it. No concrete answers in terms of that. I think we're done now. And regardless of that entire comparison glockenspiel that I just did, I'm very happy to own this. I'm very happy that I don't need to go hunting for a black 2002 or 2003 Kiryu figure. Somebody mentioned if they're willing to make Kiryu in 8 inch format, they should have been able to do that with Kaiser, Ghidorah. And I do agree, but it is Kiryu. Arguably the most 
popular mecha godzilla design out there anyway social media final rating the whole nine yards i will see you all either on sunday night or monday night with crawling hedora crawling hedora is somewhere over in that general direction i don't feel like getting up and showing it but just picture the bipedal walking version laying on its stomach that's essentially what we got there kind of anyway bye